Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Carolyn Porter Thomas and thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about burnout, specifically, obviously, nursing burnout. It's always kind of a pretty big topic because nurses as compassionate caregivers can easily get emotionally exhausted, I guess. The reason I wanted to talk about it though is because sometimes people ask me, they're like, have you ever been burnt out or are you burnt out now? And my response has always kind of been, yes, I get burnt out all the time. Um, that's just kind of part of like being an emotional caregiver. I think that it's kind of normal. Um, but what I do is that when I do feel like I'm getting burnt out, I do take steps to make sure I can recalibrate and make sure that I'm okay for myself and for my patients and for my family and whoever else needs me. <laughs> for me, these are my signs that tell me that I'm getting a little bit burnt out. The first sign is I get angrier than I should. So let's say like a patient gets upset at you know the, his lunch and for some reason he thinks it's my fault and I have to call the kitchen. Normally that's something that wouldn't bother me. I would just be like, okay, fine, let's let's handle it. But I'll notice that I will get more mad than I really should. Another sign that I'm getting burnt out is that I feel like I have this negative voice inside of me. So like every time somebody says something, like this voice is like reflecting back like the worst case scenario or like how I'm being taken advantage of or something like that. So that's another sign for me that I'm getting burnt out. Another sign, and this is like specific to me, so it may be different for everybody. If you have some signs that you can tell when you're getting burnt out, then please post it below so that other people can feel normal. <laughs> but another sign for me that I'm getting burnt out is that I don't see a positive future. I'll like be walking in the hallway and be like, oh my gosh, like am I going to do this every day for the rest of my life as long as I live every single day? Like... <laughs> I'll just start like thinking about things that are just like so negative. And so to me, that's a telltale sign that I'm getting burnt out. <laughs> so what I do when I feel like I'm getting burnt out, because it, it happens probably a few times a year, like it's, it's not unheard of. Like I, I think that people put a lot of permanence on burnout when there doesn't need to be permanence. It's just something that is a sign that you need to just kind of recalibrate yourself. And so here's some things that I do to recalibrate myself in my life. Um, the first thing I do is I take a day off. What a concept, right? I I'll literally just take a me day. You know what? I need to put some energy and love into myself and I will go work out. I'll listen to some positive audios. I'll take a bath. Um, I'll do things that make myself feel better so that I feel like I'm taken care of as well. The other thing that I do when I feel like I'm getting burnt out is I think about why I'm getting to this point where I feel like I'm getting burnt out. Am I not sleeping enough? Am I not eating well? Have I been receiving certain patients that are just a little bit too challenging or demanding or there's just a mismatch in the personality. So maybe just by asking the charge nurse to assign you somebody different can really can help, you know, because you can't, you're one person, you can't be like everybody's perfect nurse, you know, there's just no way. And some people you just need a little bit of a break from. So that's something that when I like first started as a nurse, I would never do like never, never. I would never be like, oh, can you assign this patient to somebody else? It was just a really tough day. But as I've gotten older, I've realized that honestly, it's not a big deal. You can just ask for a different patient. And there's really no reason to be the nurse for a patient that's being mean to you like all day. <laughs> so sometimes patients like that do really need to be rotated. So the final thing that I'll do is if I'm continually feeling like I'm burnt out, I'll just really think about, you know, what my goals are in life, where I'm headed in life. And I'll think about whether this job Job is actually the best thing for me right now. Now, 99% of the time after I do some like deep thinking, usually, you know, you want to be feeling good when you're doing this. You don't want to be doing this process when you're angry because then of course you'd be like, well, no, <laughs> this job is terrible. It's killing me. So you want to do this in a state where you're feeling very good. And when you're feeling very good, you want to think about your goals and where you want to be in the next five or 10 years. And is this job going to help you get there and get there happily? And if not, then maybe it is time to do a little bit of a career change. And the career change doesn't have to be drastic. You could just maybe go from one area in the hospital to another. So guys, again, I just want to take away from the permanence or the dramatic word of burnout. It doesn't really have to be like, it's not like you're burned up, you know, like you're not up in smoke. Like it's just you need to 
get some rest, recalibrate, eat healthy, drink a lot of water, and that's it. And then usually if you do those things, then you can go back into work and feel better. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you like this Motivation Monday tip. If you like this and you'd like to see more videos, please give it a thumbs up. And I cannot wait to see you next Monday. I will see you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.